Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get the updates. This is for today's video. It's Cellar Saturday, which I always love, and uh, kind of an interesting beer to do, I think, anyway, and uh, proper glassware, so it should taste better because it's proper glassware. Um, I also love this glass. Um, story time at the beginning, pretty quick, so if you just want to review, I would fast forward. Um, so the, so Duval is actually the reason I only review beer and I don't rate it. I used to do a beer blog and, um, I, uh, reviewed and rated, uh, Duval and I said, uh, an A, if I remember correctly, it was an A. Yeah. And I got crap for not giving it an A plus. And I was just like, it's so arbitrary to me. I'm like, I, I just, you know, my, my friend was arguing me. He's like, no, it's an A plus beer. It's the best, you know, on the style, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I. It was the highest in my mind. Like, okay, fair enough. In your mind, A plus was the highest. Like, it was just such a silly thing. I'm like, you know what? I, 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 I'm just gonna talk about what I'm experiencing, if I like it or not. You know, that kind of stuff, and not focus on numbers and, and, and letter grades. So uh, that's why. If you ever wonder why I don't do that, uh, even on Untapped, which I've not been very good about, I gotta get back into the habit of using Untapped. Uh, why I don't rate things? I just, it, it, you know. My three out of five is a failure. Is a failure. Like this beer fails because that's a sixty percent in the teacher mind. I'm like, well, sixty five's passing, so so sixty percent's failing. Which your three out of five might be like, I want to drink this beer again tomorrow. You know, it's just anyway. I got over it. And that's that's why. But yeah. So I'm really excited. So I I forget if it was Garrett Oliver or it, it was someone around this time that was like, I've really been rewarded by aging Duval Duval. How do you pronounce it? Devil. Um, and uh, I'm like, interesting, I wouldn't have thought to age that beer. So I, I gave it a shot. And uh, this is a regular one. It's not, you know, one of the like, you know, all Citra or whatever kind of a variant. Um, it is 8.5% ABV. And I got this, remember correctly, on a four pack. So this is from December 2006. I can see some stuff floating. That's awesome. Uh, 2016. So you had all 2017, 18, 19, 20. And we're halfway through 20, so five and a half years old. So uh, I have not had, to my knowledge anyway, uh, one aged anywhere this long. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. Um, this beer usually is super carbonated. So I'm wondering how much this is going to look like a dirty glass because it'll stick to the side. But also, it's such a big glass, but it's too loud for that head. So maybe I should have poured this and then done all that story time in that sense. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. I'm really excited. I, I love this beer. I haven't had it in a while. It's one of those ones that sneaks up on you. That, that eight and a half percent, what, right? Eight and a half? Yeah, eight and a half. Mm -hmm. Doesn't drink like it. The bit can be a little bit more. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I was like, uh oh, maybe I, I talked about how it'll, it'll have a lot of head and be carbonated, and then I was like, maybe it won't. Yeah, but it looks dirty. <laughs> Whatever it is, what it is. Yeah, super, like, that's effervescent. That is champagne, you know? And actually, the color is kind of champagne-y. Um, has that nice straw gold into a little bit of orange color. Um, tried to, you know, not overly pour that. About two fingers. It's white. I don't want to say off-white. It's white, tiny bubbles. Looks beautiful. I love this glass so much. Good to see Roma. Those fruity esters, man, that's nice. It, it's it's appley, orangey, a little bit of pear, so you get like those cider notes. We get the sweet citrus for sure, definitely like in that orange realm. What is it? There's another like really almost like pineapple-y. It's very ripe fruit, and then but you're outside and there's like a hay field nearby, so it has that element too. Pretty sweet smelling though. Strawberry, um, like fruit roll up intensity, too. Also, like dried fruits. So, like, you know, the, the fruit roll up, not, not very, you know, all natural, right? So, also, like dried fruit for sure. I could smell this all day. I'm not lying. Like, that, that's one of those. Let me break out a, let me dust off a chestnut of mine. If you can make a candle smell like that, I would buy that candle. Like that, that I could smell all day. This could just be a, a review where I talk about the aroma. But I will persevere. I will move on. Cheers. That is lovely. Wow. It's 
a little sweeter than I'm remembering fresh. Um, I've not had a fresh one in a while, so like I'm not the best person right now to tell you the differences, but it's sweeter than I remember. You still get some of that dryness, some of that like earthy hay straw thing, like I mentioned, the aroma. But that those fruity esters, it's all about that. Not all, but like 80% about that. Man, it is so cool. It's oh man, I love doing these beer reviews and like of all the varieties and changing it up and stuff and, and then doing the tried and true and, and everything in between. You get these fruity notes that are so different in so many different beers, like how a berry note hits you in a stout versus a mosaic, double IPA, hazy, you know, or, or like how orange, West Coast orange is different than New England style orange. Like, you got to say fruity esters when you talk about this beer. It has a, that fruitiness, but it's in that, you know, like I'll say with the aroma or the uh, the look of it, that like champagne-y kind of a, a realm. It, it, it's just such a trip. It does. It has those sweet fruits, but then it has just enough of like a kiss of orange zest, little light caramel, not caramel, different kind of sugar, not caramel, not quite confectionery, like powdered sugar, but honey. Duh, it's honey. <laughs> it's like honeysuckle. It's honey. That's the thing. That sweetness. Wow, that's hitting nice. And I kind of get that smell and the aroma too. Creamy, nice mouthfeel. It's smooth, yet it's effervescent, yet it's creamy. It, it, it's You can see why people would argue and say it's an A-plus beer versus an A-beer. <laughs> Man, that's good. Less of a review, more of a love letter, let's be honest. But yeah, this beer, age this beer. Drink this beer fresh, age this beer. This is one of those beers, if you're watching this, and you're like, hey man, I like your you know videos, but I've never had this beer, get this beer. Get this beer, get this beer. Once you're done getting this beer, make sure you comment below. That's always fun. Let's get a conversation going, anything, everything. Uh, once you're doing that, done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. There's no hype beer reviews to both of those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.